Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Enemy Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Naruto episode 32. Uh, I will try to get some videos done, more videos reaction wise done Monday, w Thursday, and Friday. Because I have to close tonight, tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Those are all my work shifts. I have to close every day that I work. That's gonna be fun. <sighs> anyway. Uh, this episode. Uli gets his butt kicked. And now Sakura is left alone to defend the guys again. And she does her best with what she knows and what she can do because she's just a regular ninja. She doesn't have any special bloodline things like Uchiha has or Naruto's endless chakra and all that. I know why he has a chakra, I know. Anyway, uh, yeah, she does her best. And she actually ends up cutting her hair to get free of the girl that's got, held, that's got a hold of her. And the reason she had long hair in the first place is because she heard that Sasuke likes girls with long hair. How... where did that come from? Because I doubt Sasuke said it. It's probably just someone jumping to conclusions and all the fangirls taking it to fact. You know? Anyway, uh, Ino, Shikamaru, and Choji end up running into this whole thing and seeing all this going on. And they're just hiding in the bushes watching, trying to figure out what to do. And we see that Ino and Sakura's rivalry started when they both found out that the other likes Sasuke. Yeah. All this over a boy. That hasn't shown any sort of interest in girls. Because I think mostly what he's interested in at this point is avenging his clan. He's not interested in rebuilding his clan yet. Not until, I guess, he's defeated, you know, the main threat. I guess. I assume that's what it's going through his head. When it comes to that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, like I said, Sakura's doing her best. She's actually got a hold of the guy, one Akuna in his arm, and biting him on the other while the guy punches her, trying to get her to let go. Anyway... Yeah, essentially before the guy could kill her, after getting her off, Eno and the others jump in. We'll see what they can do in the next episode. But yeah, it shows a bit of more growth for Sakura since we haven't gotten to see her do much. And yeah, she's not able to do much at this point, but later on she will become a powerhouse. Anyway, um, if I missed anything in this episode, <coughs> excuse me, feel free to let me know. Sorry, I got the hiccups and burps. Ugh. I think that was just both burps, but... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.